What's up guys? Welcome back to another exciting episode on the CPA channel. Today we will be looking at an Inkscape tutorial on how to create this perfect wave. Right? So we will be discussing the shape tool, the basic tool and the gradient tool. Okay, so I'm gonna replicate how I've done this wave, complete with the gradient and the shapes and this nicely done text on path, right, for the perfect wave. So let's get started. So I'm gonna zoom out. Okay, I'm gonna attempt to as close as possible to the wave above. Okay, so now let's take a look at this wave, right? As you can see, if you can study this wave carefully, right? Now this is the shape tool which we're gonna work with. As you can see, the corners will be needing some notes over here, right? The sharp ends will be sharp notes. And there's some curvy ones over here. All right. And it's actually, there's just a few notes that you need to adjust to get this nice wave. Okay. Now, first, I'm going to start with a rectangle. Yes, a rectangle. Okay. Now, to change the outline, I'm just going to press Shift and the black color. Okay, it's a bit too thick for my liking, so I'm just gonna go down to C15. Oh, okay, maybe 10. Right, and that's done. Okay, so let's not wait anymore. Okay, shape tool. See this number 8 over here? Okay, so object to path. This can also be found over here. Object to path, shift control C. Or you can actually just press it over here. This 8 or infinity. Alright. See the nodes are converted. So now I can shape it up. Okay. Okay. So I'm just gonna go to shape tool. And now I can curve all of it. I may not on this one over here. Okay. Let's do this fast. Okay, bring the turn over there. Turn it up there. Turn. Okay, this is as close as I can get. Okay, oops. Let's put this down a bit. Okay, now this one over here. I probably need one right over there to control it. And this one, I'm just going to use the curvy tool. Make selected node smooth. Alright. So it's almost done. Okay. Okay, not too bad. Kind of get a perfect wave though, so as close as I can. Alright, this end is pulled back a bit. Okay, once that's done, I'm gonna duplicate this. Control D to duplicate, slightly smaller maybe, but keep it away. Okay, it's okay, let's keep it big for the moment. Okay, and then a smaller one, another duplicate. Alright, uh, we can just resize that later on. Okay, I'm pressing control while resizing so that I can maintain the ratio. Alright, and then um, let's see in the last one there, it looks a bit simpler. and But it's a wave that's just crashed, so I'm just going to crash it a bit that way. Okay, we're going to just adjust that later on. Okay, so I'm going to take a, okay, there are a few of these. So I'm just going to get a rectangle too. I think that might work. Maybe. Okay. So when this is done, right, I am going to union all of them together. Okay, let's see. It's gonna use the pick tool. Oops. I've selected too much. Press shift to deselect the other two over there. Okay, here we go. So path and I'm just gonna union all of them. So I have a whiff. In a, in a box. Okay, so let's remove the unnecessary parts. Okay, let's go to Shape Tool. I don't want to net that two nodes over there, so I'm just going to delete. I only need one node over here, so I'm going to delete this one. Now this is going to be okay. It's compared to the top one over here. It's a sharp tool, so I'm just going to take this one and click on the sharp nodes corner. I have a corner over there. I'm going to delete one more over here. Delete and another corner over there. Right. Okay, this one is fine. And but we won't be needing these over here. Just gonna delete them. Okay, it's a bit too high, so I'm just gonna pull this wave down. 
move them down over here, a bit one over here. Okay, there's an additional one here, so it's going to delete. This one here, I'm most likely going to delete this one too. This one, okay, maybe just need to, okay, let's try to delete this one. It's fine. This one. Ooh, what's happened here? So we're just going to pull this out a bit. Now this one looks like a very sharp corner, so I'm just going to sharpen it over there. Okay, but it's too sharp, just going to make it rounded again. And pull it back. Okay, close, very close to the question. Okay. Now this one probably we won't be needing that, so I'm gonna delete that one. Okay, looks good. Okay, I'm gonna even up. Oh, if we did something wrong, I'm just gonna undo that. Control Z to undo. Okay, we're gonna have a better control on that one. Looks like a stubborn one over here. Smooth one. So we're gonna smoothen this point over here. Okay, but not symmetrical. Symmetrical will look like that. So I'm just gonna smoothen it. Undo, undo, and smoothen that one over there. So I can do a right. I can turn it out like that. Okay, close. Okay, the curve is it pulls back a bit. Okay, done. Right. Next is the gradient. The gradient is just right down here. Okay, create gradient. Gradients. So I'm just gonna pull. Right. Okay. The control is up there over here whether it's a radial or a gradient so it's gonna be a gradient I need to choose two colors so on top I may have a light color so I'm gonna click this node over here darker color just this light blue okay done and the last bit is the perfect wave All right so I'm just gonna use the bezier tool I'm just gonna press control now if you press control you have a lock on the line, I'm going to use the shape tool and shape it up. Right. This is the fastest way to get a nice wave. Right. I'm going to type the perfect wave. Now I'm going to enlarge this a bit. Okay. I'm going to give you my trick phone. The trick phone is the TW cent. So triple click one, two, three. And here type TW. TW cent condense. And I am gonna select these two and put on path, right? I'm gonna highlight this and maybe give it a 144. It's a bit too big. Triple click, 120, enter. Okay, just nice. Right, I'm gonna hide this line away. Okay, so I'm gonna press Shift and Transparent. Right, and I'm gonna group them together so they move together. So where's the group? Object group control G. Right, so it's about the same size. And there we have it. Okay, we're just gonna group them together again so they move together. Group and not union. So and there we go. The perfect wave. Okay, once it's done, select all of them together. You may want to have a white background before you export. Right. So I'm just going to press page down, page down to send it to the back. Okay, it's going to be white. Okay, so you have a nice image over here, the perfect wave. And file export bitmap. Right, we're going to export to a size of 800. Right, on our desktop. Right, so a wave. Right, the perfect wave. Right, a PNG file, export, save, right, 800, export, done. Okay, so we have a PNG file. There you have it, the perfect wave. Okay, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, look out for our other tutorials on Inkscape. Okay, um, do try out this perfect wave and master your shape too. Okay, this is the CBase channel signing out.